error 502 bad gateway so if you're getting a specific error message regardless if you're on Chrome or Firefox I want to help you troubleshoot and fix the issue so the first thing I want you to do is just refresh the browser or completely X out of it and then come back into it and see if that remedied your issue next thing what I want you to do is double check your time and your date and this might be 80% of the issues that I have with this error the gateway error make sure that that date is correct so if it's 2022 make sure it's 2022 the dates correct and the time make sure it's p.m. if it's not if it's a.m. make sure it's the correct one and this will happen especially with laptops because of the CMOS batteries and laptops will make make the date and the time incorrect okay after you've tried that what I want you to do is check the router make sure that the router is not out for some reason your service is not out so make sure that the computer is close to the router and then check another device on it so if you have like a, a smartphone or a desktop to try on that router if those connect then you know that there may be issue with your browser if they don't connect then you know hey it might be something with a Wi-Fi router so if that's the case go ahead and unplug the router from the wall and then give it about 10 minutes reconnect it and that'll re reset it and then see if you're able to connect also in the household look and see if there's anyone else on the network so if someone's on Netflix at the same time they're watching a movie and someone's watching something else a lot of times the network will just get overwhelmed with broadband and there's just not enough space and that's why you're that error message is popping up so just have them temporarily stop doing what they're doing if it is the router connect your connect your phone service or your internet provider all right next what I want you to do is what we're going to do is we're going to clear the cache so the cache is basically the temporary memory on your Google Chrome or your browser whatever browser that you have and just for testing sake we're gonna go ahead and do Google Chrome but if you have Firefox or Opera or another browser just Google it and see what it is for your specific browser so with Google Chrome for example we're just gonna click the menu button which is the three little dots here you'll click the three little dots you go to more tools you click on clear browsing data and then you're going to select cache and then go ahead and select cookies and site data click both of these you're still keeping your browsing history and then clear data log back after you do that log out and see if you're able to get connected after you do that okay next thing what I want you to do is to do an update on Google Chrome so whatever browser that you have you need to do an update on it so if you've got Firefox Google how to do an update on Firefox but you'll see that the that the method is pretty much the same so just for example with Google Chrome I'll click the menu again here which is the three little dots and then I'll go down to help and then I'll click about Google Chrome as soon as I do that it'll automatically start updating for me if it's online if it's not online then it'll just stay at zero so do that update it log out and then see if that fixes your problem now what I want you to do is what you want to do is you want to flush out the DNS cache so this is another short-term memory in Windows 10 and then also on Google Chrome as well so what you're going to do in Windows regardless if it's Windows 10 or 7 or 11 whatever you have on the search here I want you to type CMD and this is like to the right of the the Microsoft logo on your home screen cat Mike David right here and that's going to give you command prompt go ahead and click command prompt and so what we're doing is we're clearing out the cache on your Windows operating system so type in C and this these two little dots I don't know if that's a colon or what I think it's a colon C colon backs backspace backs uh, for let's see backslash <laughs> then the little uh, forward arrow here I P C O N F I G space so put a space forward slash F L U S H D N S and again make sure there's a space after F I G and then hit enter and that should clear your cache for Windows 10 and then I'd recommend actually restarting your computer and then see if you're able to get into uh, Windows and then you could do it again on um, you can do this uh, flush the DNS cache on your browser so for example on Google Chrome what we would do is type in Chrome uh, colon forward slash forward slash net net 
dash internals forward slash number sign DNS click enter and then that's going to take you here and then what you're going to do is clear host cache and then what you're going to do is log out of it and then log back into your browser and then see if you're able to get in and let me know in the comment section which method worked for you and make sure you hit the subscribe button alright thanks again for watching